Hi, I'm Andy McWilliams, and here are common mistakes to avoid during the installation process. Make sure you have enough material for your project. Measure and calculate the exact amount of square footage for the area. For small projects, I recommend adding 10% over the calculated square footage to allow for waste. Then, round up that total to the next full box. Large open areas without many cuts may only need 5% added. However, having some attic stock is never a bad thing. To balance your layout, measure, calculate, and adjust your starting line to achieve even size cut pieces on each side of the room. For tiles, balance the ends as well. This will give you a professionally installed appearance. The best advice I can give you is to read the instructions and the warranty before the installation begins. If a paper copy is not included with the flooring, simply visit the website and download a copy. Undercut all door jams. This allows the flooring to be installed underneath them with the required expansion gap. Make sure the flatness of the substrate is acceptable. Use a six foot level everywhere that's of concern. If you can slide two stacked US quarters underneath, then you will need to make corrections to the substrate. The flooring may be waterproof, but high alkalinity from the ground source moisture can still cause problems. Therefore, all on and below grade concrete subfloors should have a six mil polyethylene vapor retarder or barrier installed before the new floor. Despite the perceived acoustic benefits of adding an additional acoustic underlayment, independent testing shows that only one point improvement would be expected. The pre-attached underlayment has been developed for maximum effectiveness of both its acoustic performance and the life of the flooring. Adding another underlayment increases the stress on the locking mechanism due to the increased vertical flexing. This may shorten the life of the flooring. It's important to open several boxes and select planks at random. This simple process helps avoid pattern and sheen repeats, providing a balanced, random, and professional looking installation. All interlocking vinyl floor systems are designed to expand and contract with temperature changes. Failure to allow for that movement with an appropriate expansion gap around the entire perimeter may result in buckling, peaking, and joint failure. The installation does not need many tools, but using the incorrect ones may cause damage to your floor. Always use the correct tools for the job. A full list is included within the installation instructions. I hope that these tips have helped. Please check out my other videos for additional installation information.